Hello and welcome back to another daily A-level maths exam question. As we can see then for today's video here, we have a question on functions, right? Now for this question then, what I've got here is the point P which has coordinates of minus two, minus five, and it lies on the curve with this equation here. So y equals f of x. Now, all we want to do then for this question here is just find the point to which P is mapped when the curve with this equation here. So again, y equals f of x is transformed to the curve with the following three equations here. All right, so for the first part of this question here, then part A, we have y equals f of x plus two, right? Now, y equals f of x plus two, that is just simply a vertical translation here. We're simply adding two to the y coordinates. That never sounds correct, but I promise you it is. Um, so if I've got minus two minus five here, the x coordinate stays as it is. So the minus two just remains as minus two. And then for the y coordinate here, as we've just said, then add two to that. So minus five plus two, we get minus three. So in that case, then P becomes minus two, minus three, perfect. Now for the next part of this question here, then part B, we have Y equals the modulus of F of X here. So if we're taking the modulus of the full function as we're doing in part B here, then basically what happens is anything below the X axis here will get reflected above, right? So if we have a negative Y coordinate, it will now just become positive. So given that the Y coordinate here is minus five, it's negative, right? That now just becomes positive. And again, the x coordinate doesn't change here. So again, the x coordinate is minus two, perfect. And then for the y coordinate here, it just becomes positive. So instead of it being minus five here, it just becomes positive five there. And in that case, then p becomes minus two and five, perfect. And then finally, for the very last part of this question here, part C, we do need to be slightly careful here because what I've actually got then is three individual transformations, right? I've got the three here on the outside, that's a stretch. I've got the minus two inside the bracket and the plus two here. So the minus two and the plus two, they are translations. So the order does matter here, by the way. So what I'm gonna do then is apply the stretch first and then apply the translation. So the order of the translations doesn't matter, but the stretch must come first. So the stretch here, that's the three, and that affects the y coordinates here. So I've got minus five, I just times that by whatever the stretch is here. So three times minus five, that's minus 15. Now what I've got then is the vertical translation here of plus two, as we saw then in part A. So if I've got minus 15 and I add two to that, I get minus 13 here for the Y coordinate. And then finally for the X coordinate here, well, we've just got this horizontal translation here. So just be careful with this, right? It's X minus two. The mistake here is to subtract two from the X coordinates, but we actually do the opposite. We add two, right? So if I've got minus two, we add two to that. We just simply get zero. And in that case, then P becomes zero minus 13, and there we go then, that gives us the solution to today's question.